Hey there everyone, Shabbos back with another video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about eFootball 2022 Mobile. So without further ado, let's get started. So before starting the video, if you have interest to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and click on the all button. So in this video, we're going to talk everything about eFootball 2022 Mobile or best 2022 mobile so everything we're going to cover so let's start with the first information the first thing is konami is saying that the game going to be launched soon and it will be the best game in mobile performance especially the graphics will be great so talking about the more information about the game so the konami team has given some information so each of them we are going to talk in this video so let's start from number one so how you will get the update so basically it's a updated version of the best so the best name will be gone now the name of the game will be eFootball so now no more best now it's eFootball okay the name is changed to eFootball so eFootball 2022 will be announced as an update not as a new game okay so everybody will get update you can update and make your game okay so the next question or update schedule when will be the update will be announced so the konami team has announced that they are currently planned for autumn 2021 which simply means a board in october so the game will be launched on october for mobile so there is some more information about the asset carryover we will discuss that specifically at the end of the video okay so the next thing is requirements or system requirements will my phone support pass not pass eFootball 2022 so they have mentioned that every phone which support pass 2021 will not support eFootball 2022 so they are not sure which phone will be support and which phone will not support when the game launched we can only say that okay so they have mentioned that some phones will not support the new game so keep in mind that you need a good phone play for playing this game so some of the main new changes announced by konami are one shared and competitive world console and mobile so they are interlinking all their platform which simply means cross platform will be announced you can play with any player in the future also they are announcing that the mobile controller will be support to best 2022 which simply means eFootball 22 okay so the next thing is player contracts so there will be a major difference in player contract normally uh, in the past 2021 we are giving the players contract for 10 matches but in upcoming eFootball 2022 there is no system like that you have two things one standard plays which means normal players will get a uh, contract for 365 days which means there are one year full contract for the play players and but some place you want to give some contract renewal which will be uh, last for 60 days okay this is the next thing so match type talking about the match type they have mentioned that in eFootball 22 there will be a uh, two matches okay uh, challenge events online cube match and online lobby which means you can play with your friends so these are the match type available so the next is player type which means in PES 2021 we have plays like carryover base featured legends and iconic but all these type of cards are now changed into eFootball 2022 which will be now there is only four type of card in so the first one is standard plays second trending third featured and the final one is legendary plays so we'll we'll talk everything about it in in the last of the videos so we need we will cover don't be afraid okay uh, next is player development so what is player de development simply means is training the place they are mentioning that there will be some difference for giving the training for the place so as i mentioned there are four type of plays uh, the first one is based on the standard place you can um, train the standard place featured and legendary place but you can't train uh, the trending place because they will come at the max level so these are the basic information so some more uh, q a is added so let's talk about asset carryover in 
eFootball 2022 mobile. So we're going to talk about the asset carryover, which simply means what are the things you will get uh, back to your new game and what are the things you will not get, which means removed. Okay, so we're going to um, discuss everything like uh, players, coins, everything about that. What will happen to your players, coins and all other stuff. So let's start with user settings. Okay, so Konami has mentioned your owner name will be removed. You want to register new in eFootball 22. Also, secondly, your base team, your mid squad, or everything will be resetted, and you want to start from new. So your match records, uh, match history, rating, my club coil, my club coins balance will be um, reset when the update is happened okay all the information will be resetted so your purchase team will not carry over which means if you have purchased the ronaldo pack or messi pack you will get some special team that will not be available in the new game so your video settings control languages and the other settings will not be carry over that will be all be resetted also your country uh, region uh, date of birth other information just like this will be available or will be transferred into eFootball 2022 no need to worry about that so next thing is achievements so if you have a pending achievements or uh, on working achievements you want to complete it faster because uh, the achievements will be again resetted in, into the new game eFootball okay so keep in mind that if you have uh, some achievements you can finish it faster okay so login bonus so your login bonus and other steps inside the inbox you want to collect it otherwise uh, the items in your inbox will be removed sometimes uh, so you want to collect everything before the update happen okay so next one is item effect which means uh, the skill token position booster management skill token just like that there are many things inside the game if you used this kind of things in place or manager that will not be carry over all the place information will be resetted and start as new okay the next information is your friends your friend list will be totally resetted and you want to start or add new again friends okay so next one is club coins what happened to your club, club coins when the new update happens don't no need to worry you want to collect everything from your inbox and collect it that's it what you want to do but uh, all uh, your club coins will be renamed as eFootball coins into the game but no no need to worry all your coins will be transferred from PES 2021 to eFootball 2022 but the name is just changed from my club coins to eFootball coins that's it so GP no need to worry all your GP will be transferred to the new game so again your eFootball points will be also transferred to the new game but if you have an expiry time so the thing will be expired as the date mentioned so the next one is the most important which is player transferring information so what happened to your place so this is the most important part so before talking about what happened to your place let me tell you that there is only four type of plays available in eFootball 2022 mobile so there's only four type of plays so first one is standard second is trending third one is featured and the fourth and final is legendary plays okay so these are the four type of plays so let's start with the standard plays so standard plays is similar or just a new version of the base plays this is like base plays okay standard plays so these plays uh, can be uh, based on their performance in the current season which means their rating and system will be based on it so the second type of player is trending plays so trending plays are some special plays which is uh, their performance or their rating is based on some specific match or specific week like the player of the week just like that it's a version the, this player cannot be uh, pushed forward which simply means you can't train this player so this place will come at max level okay so the third type of player is featured plays we everybody know that featured plays so this is a boosted form of the base plays which means now the base place name is standard so this will be a boosted form of standard place normal place okay that's it and the final one is legendary plays okay so the legendary plays are some specific uh, seasons uh, best performed plays in their brilliant career okay so these are the four type of plays okay now we're going to talk about what happened to your plays from best 2021 to eFootball 22 okay so what will happen to our place will they transformed or will they removed so let's talk everything about that so the first one is legendary play 
or our legend player so what will be happen to our legend player so all our legend player will be converted into legendary player so as we mentioned there is only four type of players in eFootball 22 okay so all our legend players will be converted into legendary player and their contract will be all be expired they will be on level one and they will be locked players okay that's the thing okay the second one will be iconic moment so what will happen to our iconic moment from past 2021 so all our iconic players will be converted into legendary player in past sorry in eFootball 2022 and all their contracts will be expired and there will be all the players will be uh, on level one locked players so you will also get some uh, chance to give them contracts you can give them contracts uh, for 60 days i think this will work to increase their playing okay so the third type of place here is base place so what will happen to our base place so all our base place will be converted into standard place okay all our base place will be converted into standard place in eFootball 2022 so all the players contract will be available for 365 days okay all your base place will be transferred to the new game as standard place and all them have will be have contracts for 365 days all the place will be on level one and all will be locked place so next one is base place based on a acl okay it's uh, similar as this base place okay don't need to be worried that this place also will be available for contracts or be converted into standard at level one okay that's it so next is feature place so what will happen to our feature place so all our feature place also be converted into standard place okay and all the place will be have contracts okay all the place will be have contracts for 365 days all the place will be on level one that's it okay local sorry locked place okay and on one more player type is carryover so what will happen to our carryover place so the carryover place we have on eFootball best 2021 all the place will be removed and you will get GP for each player okay that's it all your carryover place will be removed from eFootball 2022 okay so this is all about the place there are some more information about the place uh, contract and some of the new place will be added some of them will be removed and there are many things about the contract also uh, everybody will get 10 contracts renewal uh, when the update happens okay also the next one is agent tickets okay so all our agent tickets will be expired okay so, so it will not be carry over so you want to use all of your agent ticket now if you don't know what is agent ticket it simply means the gold bowl a black bowl and the a silver bowl try we get for free that is called as the agent tickets so you want to use everything before the game so next is trainers so what will happen to our trainers we collected so sad thing about that all the trainers from our account will be removed okay all our trainers from the account will be removed but instead of that you will get gp for that for all the one star trainer you will get 500 gp for two star trainers you have you will get 1000 gp for uh, three star you will get uh, 1500 gp and also special trainers um, four star you will get 2000 gp and five star you will get 2500 gp and also if he if you converted any place into uh, trainers you'll get 1500 gp so if you have one two star trainer in your account then if it's removed you will get 10,000 GP but if you have 10 two star trainers in your account you will get 10,000 GP just like that okay you will get lots of GP instead of trainers uh, next is other assets inside the game so what will happen to other things inside the game first is manager so all our manager be collected in eFootball best 2020 one will be removed and instead of that they will give you gp so all the players will be sorry all the managers will be removed and you will get the gp uh, according equal to the gp that you given when assigning that manager second is scout all the scout from your account will be removed and all the value of the scout will be given as gp okay that's it uh, next one is strip if you have any strip that will be removed and you will get 4000 gp for that if you have any original team then you will get 1000 gp for that if you have a contract ticket per contract ticket you will get 
10,000 GP. If you have position booster, you will get 10,000 GP for position booster. If you have skill token, again, you're going to get 10,000 GP per skill token and management skill boost. 10, uh, sorry, 1,000 GP for the item. So this is the all about the mobile carryover and mobile related thing about eFootball 2022. So this is the all information about eFootball 2022 mobile. So if you have any questions or something you can ask, I think I have mentioned everything about the game. So the best 2022 has changed into eFootball. Now eFootball 2022 mobile will be available for you uh, on October. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Then please give us a like and if possible, share to your friends. And if you have interest to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications and click on the all button. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Have a nice day. Thank you.